welcome and bienvenidos a Puerto Rico. This is the Medalla Light Women's Open Predator Pro Billiard Series. It's the opening round of the women's 10 ball. First round match here between Skylar Hess of the USA and Olivia Zalewska from Poland. 677 Fargo versus a 543. In the booth is George Stage and Tim DeRuiter. Hey Tim, how's George. Puerto Rico treating you? Great, yeah, I actually caught some sun yesterday before it started pouring. So you guys had some rain yesterday. Yeah. I just got in this afternoon. It was uh, quite some rain. I'm glad the venue is all right because it was pouring yeah. a lot. So, but still, you know, it's been treating me fine. Good. We're playing 10 ball, races to four. If they're tied, after one apiece, it goes to a shootout. In the final stage, if they're tied one apiece, it goes to a third set. And if that set is tied at three, it will go to a shootout. But that's not till stage two uh, later in the tournament. 43 women are in this tournament. We have two young ones here. Skyler Hess from the USA is one of our promising junior players. Olivia also from Poland great player and you can tell by her fogger of 677 that uh, she's a hundred and what uh, 34 points above her competition here oh look here she's got fairly straight on the 310 combo so this is the early lead and early is important because it's only a race to four There it goes. And game number one goes to Skyler Hess from the U.S. of A. We had qu we have quite the lineup for you here. We have players here for the World Team Championships. Ruben Lin Amit uh, is here for that. And Jessica Centeno. Jessica just won the women's 10 ball world title in Klagenfurt last a couple weeks ago. In quite a match. The match was really the, her against Cheska against Allison Fisher. That, yeah, was, yeah. that was a great match. But new champion, and here she is uh, with um, Carlo Beato and Roland Garcia to compete with the World Team Championships. Skyler to break, game number two. Yeah, I spoke with Skyler before this match. She was actually not looking forward playing on the TV table because she said, you know, I'm just, you know, she's not in a great form lately. That's what she told me yesterday. Her results haven't been too great, but she's been putting a lot of time in, she said. So obviously she's struggling a little bit with the mindset too. And then she was wondering, yeah, you know, I'm just a little bit scared of the shot clock and I tried to give my piece of advice, but hopefully it works for her. And, and being a junior player, that is something to be concerned about, especially the shot clock. Yeah. Yeah, I and told her just try to keep doing the same thing, but walk a little bit faster. Just walk, you know? Mm -hmm. You can save so much time by just ha getting a little bit faster pace around the table. Yeah, it's so important to learn how to use that shot clock. They have 60 seconds after the break. And then a 30, 30 seconds afterwards for each shot, and one timeout per rack. In that first 60 seconds, they want to plan out their rack, look at any problem balls. And she's chosen to leave this long straight in shot as a push out. Interesting push out because. It's not extremely tough. Like you make the one and you draw back maybe half a diamond and you already have something on the two. And that's if you want to try to be aggressive. She could just make the one and stop the cue ball. That way it, it, it gets her a higher percentage of making the ball. And then play safe down by here by the 10, just like that. And now, yeah. now either, and bank it, it's a two-way shot. She can bank the two ball to come down for the three and probably end up safe. But a shot on the three if she makes it. 
Yeah, I don't feel she's the avoid bank that much. It looks like she's got a little bit wide on the bank, but still, she can. There's many good safeties. She can cut the two to the top short rail, get the cue ball two rails behind the seven or behind the six three. There's yeah. there's options. She could play thick and draw the cue ball underneath, but then see, the I like this. Yeah, but then the two ball was always going to be more wild. I like that a she lot. I like that a lot. She done. What she did a good job there. And that's what I meant by a two-way. You're not really trying to make it, but go ahead and play it. If it happens to go, fantastic. You have a shot. So, jump cue coming and you out. Could, you can see the inexperience of the shot clock, how she's running around. 30 seconds is plenty of time to get around there. Yeah, Olivia also has won European Championships in Women Division, I believe. Also won a Women Euro Tour. Well... This is an interesting shot. Tim, what happens here? She has a choice, doesn't she? Yeah, 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 for <laughs> sure. She did not call the A there, so the option for Skyler. And she needs to take this to cut the two to the short rail and bring, bring the cue ball, ball two around. rails. Hopefully play for the hook behind the 3-7. That would be ideal. If you can just get just right before the side pocket, the top side pocket. Really thin. That's what I was afraid of, right there. Then again, that nine ball played big. It's a tough, tough opener for Olivia. Let's say like this. Queuing over the six, cutting the ball. You know, as far as openers go, I I actually like Skyler's opening shot where she pocketed that one ball with that long straight in. That was just, uh, it showed a little bit of nerves, and it, uh, and, uh, it just, I liked what I saw. She's up for the challenge. Yeah. Yeah, very promising player, but, you know, the game can sometimes be very tough as well for, especially juniors, because they're also, okay. they have very mixed emotions as well, so they do not only have to make sure they execute the things, you know, they have to keep calm, don't let the emotions take over, like there's, there's some risks on the side for junior players. She's going to get perfect on this. Oh, Ooh, she caught the corner. I, I thought she was going to come straight up and get perfect on the four ball. I actually thought she played it good the only thing I was thinking is why not just draw straight over to the long rail and make sure you're always above a certain point and now she's gonna have to spin it back and she caught it but oh and oh my this is not gonna be pretty at all that is just a bad bad roll right there to come back and leave a 410 combo but by being out of line on the four forced that error and uh, now Olivia is looking at a four easy 410 combo. Well, it's a 410 combo. It's off angle, you know. It's and a little off. Sometimes you just judge it a little bit strange and you don't make it. So it's always something you have to shoot at. But yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. See, wh what I, I really like the fact that she could just play the cue ball the way she did straight up yeah. and not leave anything if she missed it. I had to favor her to make it, though. I, I agree. I agree. I thought uh, I thought it was a higher percentage shot than what it looked like. And still, she has left a pretty tough shot for Skyler here. The only thing I could see is nick the four behind the 10-7 and do nothing with the cue ball. Just play the four. And try to get by the six just like that. Perfect. Very nicely played. Didn't really watch the cue ball that much. He was just trying to get the four at least over enough. Well, Skyler, for shying away from the, the TV table, uh, has come up with a couple of pretty strong shots. The opening one and that one right there. So call the top left corner, two rails. Oh, this is close. It's not close, it's Straight dead in. Straight <laughs> in the hole, wow, what a shot. Well, she's got another one to make here, but she makes this one. And she makes this one, and uh, uh, she's going to have a nice shot on the six and then the seven.
long five ball after. I think would loosen up Olivia a little bit. She gets his first game on the board. On the other side, Skyler looked pretty solid to start with yes. so far. So not really many mistakes, just a position on the four that basically cost her. And then a great shot from Olivia, really. Well, she was able to convert that into what looks like a couple of shots away from tying things up at one. She'll want to come across the table here, down for the 10. Ooh. Oh, hung up the nine. Yeah, caught it too thick. And I think that was partly due to trying to create an angle that there was uh, that was natural, that was already there. She had to stun the ball a little bit yeah. more. She got a little bit, I mean, the more natural angle would be a little bit more angle on the nine. Of yes. course, you will. Yes. You'll you would expect her to make this nine ball, but she just got that little bit too straight, had to stun the ball. And Tim, tell us about this shot right here. How do you get the cue ball down without having it kill off the top rail? I might just draw off the short rail. B playing this way, you had to really hit it thin. The thicker yes. you hit it, especially with top spin, the cue ball's gonna stick with that short rail. That's so in this case, she actually did pretty well. She played with inside and catching it thin. You think it would have helped her to hit the ball a little lower? Uh, I was gonna maybe go low right and go cue straight ball. over, but cue ball. where's the cue ball going in this? It hung up in the jaws of the pocket. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> and game number it. two with a shaky little cue ball she, staring she at the corner pocket. She made a good shot on the but 10. But she it's made a great a shot on the, the 10. The cue ball was a little, uh, yeah. little scary. 2-0. The 543 Fargo leads the 677 Fargo. They are playing for a $22,500 first prize. Total prize money or prize fund offered in this tournament is $75,000. 43 women in this field. Chia Hua Chen, who is Amber Chen, and Cho Che Yu is also here. Karen Kaur has uh, come out to pay us a visit here at the uh, Predator Pro Billiard Series. Margaret Fefalova is on table number one right now. Pia Filler is here, Allison Fisher, Kelly Fisher. <coughs> Yuki Hirakuchi. And uh, players of note, Silviana Liu. Jasmine Ocean, Sarah Roca. Maite Ropero Garcia playing with uh, Francisco Sanchez Reese. Is David playing with Francisco? Yeah. On the World Team Championships? Yes, That's David quite the team. Maite Ropero. Uh huh. And then Weiwei's here. Cristina Zalteva. Cristina Tecach. Quite the field of women. Last year's winner was Wei Wei, Wei Tzu Ching, and Ches Cheska Centeno was runner up. But Cheska now owns that world title. That as I was watching her cue that ball, that, that cue was, was so coming, his, her, her hand was so high and the cue was coming down on top of the ball. I kind of watched that cueing action and it just looked a little different to me. She was a little higher. I wouldn't be too surprised if she health miscued. Just, just skim off the tip a little bit. Yeah. Well, they're trading some shots back and forth. I'm not sure if it's just nerves. Also with the speed, Skyler had to force the cue ball over. The shot to the side was tougher. 
compared to this shot, you make it, you get on the two. It's more natural. And gotta make, make it. sure you make it. Gotta make sure you make it. Well, she was on the two. Now it's a matter of getting the cue ball back in the same position it's at now. If she can get the cue ball back there. I would have gone the other way. Or hit that a little harder and drawn all the way back there. Do a little try. Almost came out. She might have come out. No. Looks like the 10 ball has it. But a make here, uh, she can't make this ball. Like she can't see enough of it. I think the main nice thing hit. was just to stay away well. from from the traffic in yeah. the bottom. So maybe thinning the one, going two reels back up, something like that. Well but she's played a good shot here. I like the speed she hit it. Very nice shot played by Skyler. You know, she played it with a positive speed to where if she was going to hit the two, it was always going to have some separation. Especially playing that speed, it's gonna open up so much more on the new cloth. So ball in hand, Skyler, and of course there's some traffic on the table, but at least she's got the opportunity opportunity to get on the hill first, yeah. which could be very important in this match. You know, we we obviously know according Fargo that Olivia is the favorite in this match. So the longer she can keep this score up, you know, it's going to put a lot of pressure on well Olivia. She's going to have pressure right here because if she doesn't make a hit, she's going to be on two fouls, and there's a three-foul rule that will lose her the game if she fouls three times. She can kick two rails around the nine. So there is still an opportunity. She didn't take all the lines away, but still, you know, it's with the cluster there, the third foul is not that difficult. But didn't even get the second one. Nice shot. Yeah, challenge. Here for sure is the four and the five. Just wondering, I might just pl make the three, get myself underneath the four, and then play another safety. And she's missed that one. Well, she had to be very careful. It's all ball fouls. So if she would have touched any of those with her clothing or the cue, it'd be a foul. So I expect Olivia to play the safety here. Overcut the three ball on the right side. Bringing the cue ball, short rail, long rail, in between the 10 and the 7 behind the cluster. I just don't see much value going for it. In this case, also the cue ball both ways are going to be tracking towards the bottom left or the bottom right corner. So I really like playing safe. Caught it a little bit thick. I think she went for it, but came out great with the cue ball. Yeah, she's got the hook and queuing over the four. But then again, she has tied up the five again. And the four doesn't go, so. I'm expecting she's going two rails here. If she goes one rail, she needs a lot of speed. See, now she kicked really soft at it. Oh. And the only thing that could be saving her was that six. And it, I think it did. It, it might have It might have hooked her. It may have hooked her here. <coughs> no. Nope, not at all. Oh. But what happened? Oh, look at this. Oh, and I she think she developed the four as well with the angle. Look at this. She's got she the nibbles angle. it. She nibbles the four, gets a shot on it with a perfect angle to address the five. If she bumps full on the five, it's going to lay pretty close to the side pocket. Like it's going to be automatic. 
Oh, she caught the top side. Oh, I'd be looking. I I would look hard to see if there's a uh, carom here for the ten, but I don't. Th it looks awfully thin. The carom also, if she's gonna play the carom, you don't make the ten. You're selling out the five. Like there is no way to hide the cue ball. That's one of the reasons why I might consider not going for it, because you can lose control and you can lose the set. You know, leave leave the five ball open. Now all the traffic is gone. It's risky. And there's the ten. Well, it didn't sell it out completely, but it's available. Yeah, so now I like going for the carom. Carom with a lot of inside spin. So left spin on the cue ball because now if you catch the rail in front of the ten, the spin is going to open up the line of the cue ball. And you have more chance even making it. You have to go for this. Oh, caught it a little bit thick. What is she giving Olivia? Yeah, a good straight chance. in shot. And really, you make this ball and you're in control. Complete control. Good position from the six to the seven. And she lays nice for it. Just come in between the eight, nine. Yeah, I think just go one reel. Yes. Just stun forward. Yeah. She stunned it uh, over directly. The uh, the worst thing that can happen this way is you lose the speed and you get behind the nine. That was it. Or you're always going to be on the reel. You're gonna, and if you use the one reel to come off just before the side, then you are never going to be on the reel. So it's no difference. She's all right. Like, it's not that she's not going to make this ball. It's more that sometimes it just make you feel uncomfortable. See, now oh. she's queuing over the 10. Like, it just keeps going like this. Yeah, but a stop shot gets her there, and it looks like she can queue that comfortably. Yeah, or f just float it in. Oh, like she's going to. And there she is with that high English again. She way up on, way really up on top. High, yeah. Way up on top. Oh, well, there it goes. Successful. And Zaluska about to be on the board. And two to one is your score. Olivia Zalewska trailing Skylar Hess. Yeah, um, it was a great chance for Skylar to get on the hill first. I think I said it wrong somewhere. I said it was 3-0, it was 2-0. <laughs> but still, she had a really good chance. And she had a, the carom was pretty big ball. Referee racking the 10 ball break, very important. Um, I've seen players breaking from the side and Olivia to break from the middle, an offensive break trying to pocket the two balls behind the one. In this case, it looks like it's the three and the six going to the side pockets. Three goes towards it, six gets bumped. Long shot on the one, but nothing offensive. I think it's interesting that they are still breaking from the center because not many balls are tracking towards the buckets. Like they're not really threatening any buckets. A little 
wild safety. I think she was trying to roll up on the seven. In addition to the world team championships and this tournament right here, this women's championship, 10 ball championship, there's also a men's open 10 ball championship with the same format. Last year's champion was Carlo Beato, who is also here for the team championships. And his runner up was Daniel Mas Maciol. Who will also be. Who will also for be for the. World time. For the t oh, world playing team, for yeah. Poland, yeah. Playing for Poland. Yeah, Poland has Carlo a strong team as well. Yes, in fact, Carlos, Carlos' team is the defending champions from last year. It was held in uh, Austria, and this year it's here in Puerto, Ri Puerto Rico. Oh, a little nudge on the 10, and it's an off-angle combo. The only thing, though, is if you go for the combo, you're not going to sell out, never, because the 2 is going to stay where it's at, and the cue ball is tracking towards the, the four 9. The 4 and the 5, yeah. Well, yeah, underneath the yeah, 4, 8, right. 9, so. Somewhere in that area. She could risk it, but I could also understand if she just plays the regular safety. Oh, she caught it really thick. Couple different are looking safeties. at this, yeah. She could cut the two ball straight over to the top short rail, get the cue ball oh, behind I the like nine Oh, I like what she's done four. right here. I like what she's done right here. If we get, oh. I think it's just okay. I oh, think she got covered with the nine and then the six also. I thought she was going to tap that seven and get her in tight behind the four. Yeah, that would be, if she found that little window there, yeah. that would be great. She did leave a jump. I think you have to take the jump. It's just a small edge of the four, so you can jump this, and it's such a high reward with where the three is. She's not going to get a reel. Let's see if they... Yeah. Referee has called a foul, no rail. So now the whole wreck is going to evolve around the four ball, I believe. Bruce Hughes. So yeah, I think the seven might be blocking the four to the corner. If the four does go, it's really easy to get underneath for the five. On the bottom side of the five for the top left or the side pocket. Oh. Yeah, she A little bit of a scratch there. Well, also Where's th that cue ball? Th there was Gotta control that cue ball. There was not so much reason to go all the way up anyways. Now tell me about that smile she has on her face. Is that an embarrassed smile? Yeah, yeah but <laughs> we actually spoke about this yesterday, uh -huh. and she said, you know, sometimes like I feel like I'm playing good, and then I make these really silly mistakes. I think this is that category. <laughs> Chuck <Just> one up. <laughs> <laughs> Skyler, we all learn. That's how you learn. Every now, well, shot is as important as the next. If she, Even if she just dropped it in very soft and took more cut on the three, oh, oh we did not uh, see this coming either. No. Now, she has made quite a few shots. For a 677 Fargo, uh, she's made some mistakes that uh, are surprising. Yeah, yeah, I for sure have seen her play better than she's doing now. Yeah. But, you know, the lights, the cameras, the people, the people oh. in the stands is called pressure. It affects everyone differently. So we are going to find out if the four goes or not. <laughs> if it doesn't go, you might have to go for the bank on the four. I think it does. I think she can play it into the high side of the pocket there. See right yeah, there I think she's yeah. okay. She just left herself too much angle on the four. It's now going to go towards the nine. If she cuts the four, the cue ball is running up to the nine. And the five doesn't go in all the pockets, so tough to get on. She was playing the seven the whole way. She didn't even want to try and the four. And now it looks like I would be playing safe behind the nine here. Is one option. The other option if you feel like, okay, I want to make something happen is you cut and you try to draw a little bit deeper around the corner. 
and then maybe run into the six. Like if you feel you can't hold a cue ball, just run into the six and take a gamble. Take the risk. Oh, but she, she could have it trying to, the to hold it and that was really tough. Like th to hold the ball is just because you're cutting. You're cutting the ball so thin and it gets so much speed, like it's not gonna transfer all the speed. I like this kick shot she's about to play. With just a little bit of speed, so the cue ball comes up by the nine. Yeah, I'm going two side. rails. Yeah. Two rails for yes, sure. Yes, yes. Two rails, try to find the gap between the nine and the eight. Just play it up with a positive speed. You don't have to punch it, you don't soft baby it, just a little That's wild. way too wide. Also, I feel she was playing this with top spin. And the top spin opens the angle so much more. And usually on a club table, you don't feel it does that. But especially on the new cloth, it you can see the difference, a big difference. That's where the little experience comes in also. Well, Skyler has now had a couple of opportunities to really, actually, I would say, close out the set. Or I'm win the third game at least. I'm very surprised she played it this way. I was thinking still go to the bottom side of the five. You know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to stay away from the eight, the nine, and everything. She has called the bank, but she's queuing over the nine, and you see she's again very high in the cue ball. Yeah, she gets up to way up on top of it. Open it up. Well, you know, one thing about Skyler's opportunities so far that she has not capitalized on, they've been learning opportunities. Yeah, she's yeah, been yeah. She'll be able to take something away from those. There's a couple choices, you know, there's always some things, but now she does have a good chance here to get on the hill. Oh, and she's missed the five. She's missed the five. Turned out all right. It's not, she hasn't left the game for the taking here. You will have to go for the cut though. Two rails, play with some left spin, avoiding the six. She's using right. She's going around the six. So much more difficult, I feel, with the outside, yeah. So, long six ball. She's actually one shot away from tying this up because if she makes this ball with decent position, uh, it lays up pretty nice for her. Well, it w it's really going to depend on how she gets on the eight as well. Yeah. See, now if she... Yeah, nice cue ball. She's gonna like this. If she can get as straight as possible on the nine, it would be... Th th then the ten is a hanger, yeah. but if you get too much angle, you really have to so make something happen. Do you like going two rails around the corner or just straight up? I think straight up. Because you also get into the... You know, like, you get into a safe area. Even if you under hit the ball, you're most likely to be straight on the nine. So if you go around the corner, you're crossing this area. And if you hit it too short, now you have a lot of angle on the nine. Or if you hit it too firm, you're behind the ten. Like there's some complications. Oh, nice position there. Yeah, it's looks like it's going to be two each. A couple of missed opportunities yeah. from Skyler Hess. Can't take this shot for granted, though. You just can't take it for granted. Yeah, always. You need to stay sharp. But nice. Go straight in the hole. Well done. And tied it two. In a race to four. The opening race to four. Yeah, plenty of other action going on at this moment. Earlier today, we also started with the Medaille Light Puerto Rico men's stem ball open. Some of the scores on the other tables. You have Vanilla Franco, 2-1 to one over Stephanie Mitchell. Karen Kaur leads Soledad Ayala, 3-1. to one. Uh, Morales Maldonado leads Jennifer Ber 
Brzezinski, 3-0. Julie Mandeliner, 3-0 over Alexandra, Alexandria Endress from Great Britain. Brittany Bryant, 2-0 over Donna Selman. And then Nina Torgund over Bethany Sykes, 3-0. This match tied at two. Yeah, pretty square hit, just a smidge of draw on the cue ball. And also not one of the harder breaks, of course, in the field. Which is understandable. Most of the women they have to change the break more often they just need to figure out the best spot so safety good safety I mean it's solid shot and also if you kick at this even if you go one rail or two rails you're most likely to sell out because there's only one result you're gonna like and it's making the ball I think a lot of it depends on the speed yeah well and she's missed the ball so she has sold out so now I am playing three fouls I'm probably banking the two ball two rails down table and get the cue ball behind the six just because I'm going to try and get the two ball together with the other ball so I can have a third foul. And the six lays pretty nice. I don't like the run out that much just because of the four. But if she if she has faith to get underneath the four and shoot it in the top left and get I on the I five. I like that. I like the way that lays. It's just that she the seven ball forward. is also a little bit tricky. So th She'll the be able to bump that a little bit. Nah, she didn't get straight enough on the four. It's a tough shot now. Yeah, and then now she will have to play good defense because she's the one opening it up. So now I'm thinking, can you cut the four to the short rail straight, like direct over, and kiss the nine? I like how she's played this. Just a little firm, but I like that she used the nine to stop the cue ball there. There was some maturity in that shot. She used the speed of the ball. And the angle behind the seven. Can she go just past the side on the left side? Because that's for sure the way I would be kicking if it, if it goes. This way, it's, it's not easy at all. It's going to slide a lot. You have to judge how much spin you play because it's going to open up on the second rail. The more spin you play, the more it's going to open up. So you have to feel the spin. You have to adjust the line according to the spin. Nice hit, Ooh, almost made close. the ball. Um, hasn't left anything easy here. No, and e also if you go for the four ball, you're not really going to get much on the five. You're going to go one rail into the nine. But you have a roll up on the five. Like you, you, The only thing you have to do is tap the cue ball just softly on the four and it's safe. You see the nine seven was oh always going to be into play. It's just so tough to get on the five. If it goes, then she has a great opportunity because now it's wide open. But if she can hit it full, she could bank the five. She needs a little luck here. I don't think she's got that luck. I think she's left the five in the side. Olivia making quick work of that shot. Now setting up for the next few to try to take a lead here. Tied at two.
Well, she's left herself a little toughy here. She has to avoid that 10 ball to get on the eight. Yeah, draw Thin the cue ball around the angle. I would play with low right. She's going to go three rails probably around. Good job in avoiding the 10. Straight in on the, does the nine ball go by the 10? It looks like it might. Yeah, I think it does. So in this case, just stun the cue ball softly off the rail. You don't have to pound the ball. You don't have to put a soft stroke on it. Just, just like this. So it must go. <coughs> yeah, I feel it's not like Skyler is, you know, like missing open shots and making big mistakes. It's just, just a couple choices here and there, which I think she could have been a little better here and there. Well, I think I think a lot of what we've seen from Skyler is just she's missed some great opportunities. Yeah, to like she to was really trying take to control. run out the wreck yeah. where she could have played for three fouls. Like there is some some choices, and it's only one way she can learn. And for a one-game lead, Olivia gets win number three and leads three to two. Sixth game coming up. Skylar Hess is from Queenstown, Maryland. And she has uh, won the JIC nine ball stop uh, under 18 girls three times in 2023. Stop number one, stop number three. It's a pretty good little record there. Yeah, the she a also second she and a third. In the WPBA event. She cashed in the WPBA Fairfield Invitational. And she also uh, cashed a seventh place in the 2023 Maryland Women's Eight Ball Championship. Sticking to the same break. I think I would be looking to Cut the one in the side, but oh, straight kiss in the corner. The cue ball. Is this a great opportunity for Skyler? I was just wondering. The five doesn't seem to go in the bottom right, so that's already a challenge. One, two, three is a good starter. You can leave yourself angle on the four to hopefully open up the five. Got some work to do on the 510 there. Get some position for it. Oh, and she's nuts to five. I don't think in a great position. No. So it's safety time. Just wondering what can she play here? In rotation, most of the time, it's the usual safeties, most of it. This, I was gonna try and look for the five ball, maybe to the short rail, or you need to get that five ball into safety, safety zone. So, chance for Olivia, but it's a long one. She will have to play a good angle from the six to the seven and is really close to the side pocket point. Yeah, those are tough calls. Because yes. if she just makes the ball, then she's gonna be straight on the six and she's not gonna like that. And then if she gets too much angle, the side pocket point comes into play. Okay, she played a good strike there, like she queued nicely. Just wonder what she can 
Two and six. Yeah, Olivia has that win in the Euro Tour in the Estonia Open and also a second place Euro Championship Women's Eight Ball. She's a little bit. Uh, this year, yeah. This year. Yeah, just wondering. I'm guessing possibly there's other years too. She's got her first in the women's nine ball in 2022. Uh, second in the Predator Women's Lasko Open. Yeah, she's been around for quite some years. And last year she was uh, 17th in the w uh, World Women Ten Ball Championships. Good speed from Olivia. Caught the seven a little bit thick, but just because she's played such a good pace on the ball, made it still slide in. Now she did get straight on the eight, so I'm just gonna draw back to where the cue ball is now and take more cut on the nine, or you stop the cue ball and you take a straighter shot on the nine. Yeah, I, l I don't mind this. Can go one rail, can go two rails, you know, it's. On this new cloth, you can hit it with a nice speed that comes brings the cue ball straight across. You don't have to force the ball. You don't have to hit it real hard. Just kind of roll it and still come across, just like she I did there, but she overcut the ball. Earlier, she's missed a shot like this also. So maybe there is some throw or she's putting some spin on the cue ball, which she's not trying to. So test her, but... Big shot here. One good shot. Oh, she's missed it. She has missed a great opportunity here and oh well, she didn't leave a lot, but it's a free bank. She put the cue ball on the rail and banked the nine to the side pocket. And if she misses it, she's gonna leave a tough shot. Yeah. If she makes it, she's got an easy ten. Yeah, you have to play the cue ball a little bit here. You cannot just stop the cue ball right there yeah. and, and go for it. Just you want to put that cue ball draw. on the rail, I think. Just a little draw to the rail. Oh, it looks like to be a little bit wider. I was going to say it looks wide, but it's in. What and a steal for. This, this 10 ball for the first set. This is a big steal, big turnaround. 2-0 behind to then win the first set for two. Olivia Zalewska, all the way from Poland. And Skyler Hess will have a little bit of learning to do from this match when she comes back to watch this. Look back at the, some, some of the shots that she missed and a couple of the opportunities she might have had. And uh, looks like she's going to take a break between sets. So what about our sponsors. Can you tell us more about our sponsors? Kamui, Mendaya Light, Predator. Rums of Puerto Group. Rico. Rums of Puerto Rico. You have to say it just right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know. We are in Puerto Rico. Pu We're finally Puerto here. Rico. Puerto Rico Tourism Company. And remember, folks, we are, well, you're probably watching us on YouTube, Pro Billiard TV. And now Samsung TV is also aboard. And also District Puerto Rico, popular. Thank you so much for supporting the tour. And folks, you're getting free streaming, courtesy of Predator Group, the Pro Predator US Pro Billiard Series. And we are also on the Pro Billiard TV. Now, if you are watching this match and you're like, well, you know, I don't feel like watching this match. Maybe I want to watch a different match. All the other tables in this venue are being streamed on kazoom.com. It is pay-per-view, but you will get to pick whatever match you want to watch. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been a member for maybe 10 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very common in Europe. Kazoom is very known. You know, they always have been delivering good quality. And 
I never regretted the fact that I watched their stream, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they gave us the opportunity to be able to watch other matches too, and not just one or two. Well, you're looking at the Apex, the Predator Apex 9-foot table with the Predator Arcadia cloth. The arena lights are lighting up the whole arena. And the Arcos two balls racked with the arrow rack that you see on the table. All courtesy of Predator, all available on PredatorDeCues.com. Skyler, by the way, is a Predator-sponsored player. As she walks back into the arena. Skyler will be breaking to open the second set because Olivia won the break, won the lag, so she breaks first. And Skyler should be breaking first in the second set. Now, the importance of that lag is that if it goes to a shootout, and Skyler can turn this around here and make it a shootout, Olivia has the choice to go first and choose sides. Yeah, just wondering, is she going to switch the break a little bit? Maybe go to the side because not many balls have been dropping on the break. from the center one ball to the side almost yeah it didn't catch them too full and now yeah. the balls are open <laughs> finally one game where the balls are not tied we've had many games that were kind of scrappy good opening shot too looks like she can play that one ball into the six or cut it in the side the tricky thing playing the combo on the six is the one is might track towards the short rail after if you hit a little bit thin but then also if you cut the one in the side the cue ball is going to be really difficult to control yeah. so uh, both have their challenges I do like the combo I think you have to try at least you will always have a good safety opportunity after you see she catches the rail first cuts the ball a little bit more and lost the one and now can she Cut the one ball still to the left behind the 10-8 and bring the cue ball all the way up? Or does the scratch come it's into play? It like, is it too close? It's. I think she'll shy away from that. No, she's going for that, just that. The she's going to cut it thin and come around out of the pocket. Oh, she hit it great. Just a little bump and... It just that little bump caused the leak. Yeah, because actually she did a really nice job cutting that ball. Still, she's putting quite some pressure on Skyler. That's the thing. Like Skyler should, you know, could have been ducking a little bit more during the match. She has not. And then Olivia basically was ducking all the time and barely went aggressive. Only on the nine ball in the last set, the bank. You like this, uh, this cue ball coming behind the eight there to the bottom. I might play it all the way through to the behind the two, Up two five. five. Two rails, cue ball. Oh, there you go. Ooh. I was going to say, you're not wanting to make the one. <laughs> I mean, it could have worked. Two-way shot. Was close. Yeah, the main thing is you get the cover. Of course, not ideal where she has left the one because if she... I'm, I'm kicking to make this. Not not firm, just soft. Oh, she oh scratched the there was two ways to scratch. That way and the top rail. Yeah. Either side of the ball, you could scratch. Yeah, not enough spin on the ball. Everything evolves around the two ball, I feel like. If you can get to the two and get bring the cue ball out to get something on the three, then after, it's not really tricky anymore. Yeah. I think she might come up and leave herself straight on the, on the two and maybe draw up a little bit. Can't come up much higher than that. There you go. 
Just kind of try to get this uh, cue ball up by the nine. If you play draw and you cut the ball a little bit more, you might run into the five and then hook yourself behind some balls. So I might go forward and take a cut on the three. Or you have to make sure you hit it thick. Oh, she's not going to like this. She got too much draw on it. She hit that ball really clean. Well, she was making sure it. she wouldn't run into the five and then <laughs> she did overdone right. it. It's, that's what I'm saying. It was a really sensitive shot. The two ball was key shot. So now, now here you again. either go just one rail and you completely go for attack, but you know if you don't make it, you're selling out, or you go two rails, but then you have no future on the four. Last minute or last second extension. <laughs> See, again, very high in the cue ball. I wouldn't. She might go really wide here. Yeah. It's either the speed or how high she's hitting it in the cue ball. Yeah, now, good chance for Skyler. Like I mentioned before, everything, you know, ju just the two ball was the biggest challenge. Now the two ball is gone. Three, four, five are connected just to get a decent shot from the 7 to the 8. Yeah. Right here she just wants to make sure she can just follow past the 7 to make sure she's not hooked and then everything lays perfect for her. Just go 2 inches past the 4 ball now. Yeah, or you stun the cue ball in stun between the 9 and yeah. 7. Yeah. You I do either way, perfect. you go forward or you, you stun it over is alright. Just make sure you have angle on the 5. I like I like going forward here and missing the eight and coming two rails for the for the that that works too either way. Well, the main thing was she needed more draw. I think she got just okay if she if she's straight she can draw straight back for the eight in the bottom left. And that's she what happens when you st well she got good on perfect it. Yeah, yeah nice shot. She really needed that recovery because she did get a little short on the seven. So good shot. Now top right. I would shoot the nine in the same side or in the, the top side pocket in this view. She got She's a short herself again. A tough shot now on that's this nine ball. And now if you play one rail or possibly two rails for the nine in the side, you can't really get too short. No. Especially if you play the two rails. Like you just make well sure she you was bump coming the across her positional line. Yeah. And if she played it for the corners, yeah. And that caused that miss right there. And then again, I, I feel it's just because she chooses a different position and she got the tough shot. And not and only the miss, also, yeah. but lost the cue ball to the side pocket. Now it's basically, yeah, just different choice and position that costs her the rack. And she had already a couple of those earlier in the last set. Things not looking too great for Skyler Hess. Well, it's only the first game of the second set, but it is the first game of the second set. Yeah, and we're playing a and race of four, so it's every game matters. You know, conjunction. Uh, with the pro events here, the World Team Championships, the men's and women's 10 ball championships. We also have the Billiard Expo, Q Sports International Leagues, 650 players, and only 30% of those are from Puerto Rico. The rest are from all over the US of A. And Europe. And Europe. Well, who doesn't like to go to a country like Puerto Rico? Game number two coming right up with 
Olivia Zalewska. And Olivia will be playing with Daniel Masiol, Bojack Shevchak, and Viktor Zielinski on your World Team Championships. Taking a long look at this shot. Trying to kick it straight across to the side, or is she going to go for a safety here? Tim? Well, she kicked straight across to the side, but she missed the one. Yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> Error. A good opportunity, but she's got all 10 balls to run. They're all out in the open. They're there for the taking. A rack like this is a character builder. If she can get through this, it'll pump her up for the rest of the, the, the second set. Okay, she needs to choose a bucket for the two to get the cue ball up to the top short rail because you don't want to have an angle on the three running towards the seven. You want to go to the left side, to the short side of the four. And it is a little bit tricky. Yeah. She's chosen the 2-9 combo. Or the safety. Maybe she just didn't know how to get on the 2 and she chose to make a 1 and play safe. Well, She's going to kill the cue ball behind the 3-7. Oh, you crawl called it. Right there uh, and oh, oh, she just caught the point. Does the 9 ball have her? The knuckle. And I think it's still safe. It's just if you get her behind the 3, it's a really locked up safe. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, it's really locked up. Here she can kick between the 5 and the 10 and have a chance of hitting the 2 ball, a good chance of hitting the 2 ball. They can call the 8 or the 2 as well. well skimmed off the 10, skimmed off the 5, and... Now here's another shot to get behind the 3-7. The only thing now, because the 2 ball is pretty low or high, depending on how you look at it, but yeah. close to the shore rail is that it's not a natural light to play. She will have to stun yeah, the cue ball a little the bit. Ball and, and then open it up off the rail. Yeah, and then yeah. It, that, that's really sensitive too. She went oh. for a combo. Yeah, I don't mind her because she, for sure she's gonna try and make something happen and the safety was just as tough. If the, if the safety is just as tough as the attacking shot, then why would you not go for the attacking shot? Of course, I totally agree. Keep your player in the chair, your opponent in the chair, and uh, run the rack out. Careful with this nine ball. Don't get behind it. Nicely done. She can go to either side of the five now. Wants to be as straight as possible for a stop shot leading to the six. Well, not my first choice. Yeah, I'd rather come up too high than too low. Just the only the Nymo was the only challenge. Now is how is the speed? 
pretty decent bump. I think the six does go in the bottom right. Off the rail, off the eight. If she doesn't like it, she can cut to the six also in the side. Yeah, that That's seems to be what she's doing. Now the cue ball is going to be moving, so I am probably gonna play this and draw the line a little bit to make it go to the left side of the nine, but I am playing the six to the top right, I think. The eight is a little bit out, so that's more difficult. Or I'm cutting the six in the side, but then with right spin and go short rail, long rail, short rail out. Of course, the spin is going to make it more difficult, but you need to control the cue ball. Oh, she hit it a little it bit thin. Really thin. Well, now this is a fantastic opportunity for the young lady from Maryland. On the rail, but it shouldn't make any difference. Just a natural shot to make the seven. The eight balls over the pocket. Main thing is get the decent angle on the nine. You know, just to drop down for the 10. You don't want to be traveling all around the table, use all the rails, you know, just keep it basic. So now half ball hit, low left, or s more stun left. You know, go off the short rail, and this way by using the rail, you can spread the speed a little bit better. Come right towards, oh, she oh. stayed right there. Yeah, I like, your sh I, I like coming off the, the short rail and towards the nine. Yeah, she so also jabbed at it a little bit. She didn't really stroke all yeah, the way through. Oh. That, and that is, there's a good, something to work on when she when she gets back to the table. Yeah. Is uh, good coming recovery. out of those corners. It's still Very good, good recovery, recovery on the nine. Nice shot on the nine. I see her peeking at the clock all the time too, so for sure she's a little bit more nervous about the time. And ties it up, one apiece. Yeah, good run out. Now a couple of steady shots here and uh, and take advantage of anything that comes her way. And we could be looking at a shootout, but she's going to have to force it uh, because Olivia will be trying to win that second set and not giving her a chance to win in the shootout. One of the things about these short races is they, they go pretty quick and can turn around right away. Medalla Light. We're in Puerto Rico at the Centro de Convenciones here in Puerto Rico, San Juan. Successful outing last year, and this one this year looks as good as, if not better, than last year. Great venue, great place for a tournament. Sports International. There. Puerto Rico Billiard Expo going on right here in San Juan for the second time. $500,000 up for offer here. Up for grabs. Three different tournaments. Yeah, seventy-five thousand dollars prize fund for the ladies' event. First prize cashing twenty-two thousand five hundred dollars. She's a good payday. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's and a great payday. And then the they're, they're all going up too from last year. Yeah, and then the men's event, of course, is a bigger field. There's a hundred twenty-five thousand dollars prize fund with the first prize of. Thirty-seven thousand dollars. 
Very nice shot by Skyler there on that. Uh, Great chance here to tuck the cue ball behind the 10. Now you can try to play the three behind or next to the eight, but I like banking it more up table because if you put it the three in the open, it's more difficult to get it safe on there. If you put it next to other balls, then just by hitting it most of the time, you're, you're lucky. Came up a little short. Yeah, you had to make sure to not leave that one real kick. The good wow. thing is with this speed, there was no way she was going to get the hook because she was not going to get near any balls. Well, would you look at uh, consider this uh, four, four ten here? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Just because of where the six nine is, and and she's left, she's lined up I perfectly. I for think it. she got close to straight on it. Yeah, the only thing that could be better about the lineup on this shot is to have a cue ball closer to the four. Yeah. Oh, she babied it. Oh. Yeah. Well, it looks like she's left her hooked. You know, if I was going to shoot this, I was going to play a solid stroke, solid execution. Also, in this case, she didn't hang the 10, but if she had hit it just a little bit thicker, she would not make the 10, but leave it in front of the pocket. So just wondering how much can she see of the four? Um, maybe just the very top, enough to get behind the 6-9 with the cue ball, maybe. And she did. There's a big scratch here. Needs to catch Off the thick. Ten. Oh, she hit the six first. She is very fortunate though, because six. while cutting the six, she actually put it together with the nine instead of opening it up. So. That is the good news we have. The bad news we have is a 4 10 combo, which I really like from here. Such a big ball if you catch the 10 anywhere tick. She's not even looking at it. With, and with a 6 tied up, I'd like your idea. Yeah. I like that 4 10 combo. I just think to get on the 6 is such a small area. And you can put yourself dead straight on the combo. Well, you too. have to open it up. Y uh, y uh, unless you, can you play it to the bottom right? That's probably, if I would be running out, that's probably that's my way. Yeah, that's a tight area. Yeah. Okay, so shot clock came into play there. That's why she hurried up so fast. I don't, I'm not sure if she got ideal. Might have to smooth draw this over. Nicely done. Just a little bit more cut on the six. She got where she had to get. So she might be playing safe here. Just a stop shot. She wasn't trying to hit the seven. So at least she left something for Skyler. Of course, it's not an opening shot, but something to work with. A little more speed is going to leave a shot on the 10. She has not left the six ball, I think. I believe the six doesn't go. If the six does go, you have to just play the six and run out from here. If it doesn't, I, I really don't mind. Play the 10 with medium speed. Then again, you don't want to baby it because if you don't make it, you leave the 10 in front of the pocket, but just the medium speed to have a solid stroke in there. She's called a 10.
And oh boy. Oh, they did line up. I don't think so. I think it's just yeah, but off. Ma maybe the carom. Uh, no, it's, just it's off. not there. It's just just off. But this was the risk. She kind of babied it. So it could have been way worse than this. I like her shooting this very, very soft, hitting the left side of the six and staying right behind the ten, just like then up against yep. it. Perfect. Nice shot. Good control. Only thing, she might still be able to go around the ten. That's the she only can. thing. Like it's, she it's can. It's an easy hit. So come straight. Oh, she's going to go around. I, I come straight at the top of it and try to make it in the corner. I mean, it's quite a bummer, you know, because she controlled everything quite okay. Oh, nice hit. Yeah. It's going to go in. No, it's going to get safe. Oh, and this is a very tough shot. I might play the carom on the seven. A little bit wilder shot, you know, just stun the cue ball straight into the seven and let the six go up and down and hopefully get on something. Because this is, I mean, or you really like to play this. Or she really liked to play this. Wow, what a shot. She hit that good, just... Played a good shot, but I feel the speed was not perfect. Got pretty straight on the seven. So if she wants to go aggressive, she has to just float this in and take a more cut on the eight. She was never going to get closer. Well, this isn't a gimme. She's going to have. She's got some work cut out here. Just, I don't feel she. I would have rather been further away from the 8 and straighter on the 8 than this with more angle because now she's trying to hold the cue ball while cutting the ball. It's such a sensitive stroke and you could only sell out this way. And she did. So it's one of those those choices again where I feel she could have been ca like capitalizing a little better. A little bit better. <laughs> Of course, Olivia is going to yeah, pick these three balls. She just got a little bit strange on this ball. She might be. I think she might play safe behind the 10. Nah. You don't think so? Well, she's going like she's for the aiming. 10. I was going to say, you have to cut and go four rails around. Like, just uh, cut it and play enough speed. But I'm going to hit the left side of this nine ball with right hand English and drop in behind the 10. Oh, and she scratched. So now maybe a little bit more angle would be nice to so drop over, but she'll be fine here. Straight on the 10. To take another lead. Yeah, there it is. 2-1. Skyler leads. Two games to one. Again. As she did in the first set. She had a two-game lead, but now it's only a one-game lead. But she's won two games in a row. Racking the balls. Hand rack. See if we can uh, get you up to date with some of the other matches going on right now.
Vania Franco has defeated Stephanie Mitchell. Oh, she's left a shot on this one ball. And if you can get from one to the two. Go right between the five and the eight with the cue ball. Or you go forward. I like to go three rows forward. Uh, it's, I think I also it's a little bit above her pay range. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm more saying the four also comes into play in the shot. You don't want to bump the four. Well, she just didn't, didn't execute that shot. It was the right one coming across between those balls and position on the two. But she's left a little jump shot here. Yeah, she does get a little bit pokey sometimes. When she strikes the ball, she punches it a little bit more instead of following through the ball. You know, this this begs the question, has either girl attempted a jump shot? Don't think so. I don't think they have. I, I know today. this result is probably the best thing that could have happened to her. Yeah. <laughs> Going right in between the 6-5 and freezing on the 5 ball. Decent hit, decent result as well. Like she's not gonna give something really easy, and then so like I said before, to get on the two ball is one, but also to get from the three to the four, you know, it's so small hiccups. Cut the knuckle of the pocket and has left a straight in shot for Skyler. I think she's left herself a little bit too much angle to hold it for the three ball in the right hand side. She might have to go underneath it and play it to the side. Very well done, Skyler. Yeah, the biggest challenge was if you play this to the side, how are you still going to get four. nice with the four? Yeah. Because usually you have to draw the ball and like force it, yeah. and it's missable, you know? It's not only missable, there's a. Oh, she did very nice job. Nice shot, yeah. Very nice job with it. I was going to say, there's the, the corner pocket you have to contend with if you draw it. But also she stunned it over to the right. It really opened up a bunch. You'll have to stun forward this, though. A little uh, bit too much. It still cuts. Because it was really sensitive. If you just played it soft, the kill was also floating too much. So you had to kill it and still hold it and go a little bit forward. And Oh, it does oh, go. It does go in the corner. Wow. She called I was going to say she caught it really thick. Yes, she did. And you can see on the back of her shirt there, Skylar Hess, the Ice Princess. Jam up apparel. Supporting many juniors in the U.S. And making some of the clothing for Predator, too. Also. A little bit in between. You might have to shoot the six in the top right corner and just stun the cue off the rail. If you cut this, you know, you will have to play good speed. Yeah, I, d I don't mind playing a chop. Nice shot. Good choice. Straight in on the seven ball, pretty close. Gonna use the head rail and come back towards the nine. Oh! And she's missed the, missed the eight ball. 
little shots like that at this level um, have to be worked on and worked on hard. Yeah, I'm just wondering, was she so doubting the cue ball to be coming all the way back that she decided to cut a cut little it bit more it and then be. lost it? or she Because there was no other reason to miss it this way. If, oh, she's come away okay. Do you bank this or you just go for the safety? It's really tough to say. The bank might be extremely close. If if it goes, if you can beat the kiss, then I'm banking because with the it's not a wide angle. So even if you hit the rail first, it still slides in. I oh, think she's gonna cut it. Yeah, that was the other thing. If you have too much angle for the bank, that means there's a cut. Yeah, nice shot. And now having the cue ball off the rail is a bonus too. Like she got almost perfect. She couldn't got any closer, so best result she could have gotten on this. Long nine ball though. Whee! She hung the nine and Oh, this is a very, very big game for, for Skyler. Almost scratch. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the cube also because he got really close. Oh, this is a big turnaround. Yeah. Yeah, this is to get on the hill in the second set. We might be getting close to her first shootout, George. First match, first shootout. Yeah. You know, they are, they are, um, there's more of them towards the end of the tournament than the beginning of the tournament. Three to one. You know, it's actually funny. She said before him, as she said, I'm not looking forward to this, you know, with the shot clock. And and I really don't want to go to a shootout. <laughs> she told me well, this. So it would be really funny if this happens. I, all I can say to anyone that doesn't want to go to a shootout is win the first set. Yeah, just win two sets. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just make it, it sound You're in easy. control. Yeah. And she had her opportunities in the first set she as did. well. So... She had a 2-0 lead and a uh, multitude of opportunities yeah. in the third and fourth game to, to get up on the hill and maybe even close out the set. Yeah. But still, she's now at least climbing back in this match. Of course, she gets a little bit help, but, I mean, it doesn't well matter, basically. Help, and she plays some good shots here and there, so it's, it's a mix. You know, all fair and love and war here. Uh, Skyler gave Olivia just as much help in the first set. That's what I'm saying. So far, this match has been pretty 50-50 still. Yeah. Even though there's 140 points. Yeah. 130 points, 134 points spread in Fargo. She's cutting now more. She went more to the outside, so the one will be closer. If she had it head on, the one would be closer. Opening shot on the one is good. Position for the two is good. Everything lays open. There is one challenge. Can you find it? Can I find the one challenge? One. Uh, the opening shot, maybe. No, I don't see a challenge here. From the three to the four. Because of where the line is. Okay. You have to play the angle going around the five, going forward. So that means, let's say you stop the cue ball on the two, now you're drawing into the nine and you don't get on the four. So you need to come back and come take back the other angle. And, and make sure you get that cue ball past the center of the table to shoot the four. Yeah, the so side. you look sure. at the layout and you go, well, you know, this should be done. And then these are small hiccups that could stop your run. And she's gotten right where she needs to be. Yeah, now she got a little straighter, but now she can at least play with top spin and come straight down. Or it should be, so should be right down the middle of the table. And then if oh she she's drawing the ball. I would follow this ball. This scratch gets close, and I really want to be low, low I on the I'd four. And on the rail would be bad news. This is bad news. Because she's cutting the four. She's going to run towards the eight. She's going to get a longer five ball, and there is no way she can get closer on the five. She has to take the medicine and take the longer shot. Now she can't, I don't think she can avoid hitting the, the eight ball. 
And now look what she's going to be dealt with. Oh, there was no other way to do And that's why I was saying that three in the force just was so touchy. We didn't get all the way to the bottom of the table with for the four. It was always going to be difficult. The good news is if she makes this long five ball, the other balls are basically Six hanging. The so, oh, she was down on the shot and the shot clock got her. So sometimes this also builds tension with the players because now they're aware of something else. They lost their focus a bit. And they have to readdress. Sometimes they don't even move their feet. I don't think she did. Yeah, she's missed the five. Did I'll you see that little hiccup in her stroke when she, when she delivered the stroke? She, she had a very short stroke as well. Like, it was yeah. really short and pokey. There she was didn't a really little, hit the ball. There was a little pokey movement to it. Yeah. Just before she hit the ball. Oh, I'm, I am going here, probably. Go for the bank. You don't really have to do much with the cue ball. You stun the cue ball up to the short rail. You know, you come back off soft. She's ooh, oh, I thought she made that ball. I was going to say the reward is so high. Yes. Like, I agree. Go if you get straight I on the six, it go it's for that all almost day. done, right? And plus, the other side of that, that, that one particular bank shot, if you're going to play a bank shot, that's the one you want to play. Yeah. yeah Skyler maybe hit it a little bit too firm. If you look at how the five ball ended up, if she, if she played it softer, she would she was not going to sell out for the bottom left well, corner. Opportunity again. A and she has moved the ten in front of the the side pocket. So basically, if you get straight enough on the six, she, yeah, they are laying really nice here. They really are. Did she get the cue ball up high enough? Yeah, she's okay. Just okay. Yeah. Just feel. As long as you don't loaf on this shot. So just float it in. You don't have to shoot firm. You don't have to be straight. She so missed it. She also baby. She poked at it again. Well, the slower you hit that shot, the more that kind of you hit it fat. Usually you hit it fat. And she did. That would have won her the set and sent it into a shootout. Yeah, returning the favor. It was just, if she stuns way too far on the five going to the six, it was still fine. Mm -hmm. Everything but low. She stayed low and got a little tougher. Well, she's allowed her opponent to control the score here instead of sending it to a shootout. Here's another opportunity for her to get that cue ball past the center for that easy 10 ball on the side. Playing again with draw. Again with draw, yeah. Oh, she drew it over, which worked out okay yeah, that she's time. She's got perfect on the 10, so 3-2. Yeah, and now the big question is, how is Skyler going to be addressing the fact that she had a good chance to close the set down. Because sometimes players, they get so hard on themselves for missing that one opportunity that before you know it, you lose the second set too and you're shaking the other guy's hand saying, hey, I... What happened? Yeah, what happened? You know, like, it just goes so fast. Well, the fact that they've been kind of playing volleyball with the game, giving it back and forth, uh... She's got two opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, I would be probably telling myself, hey, sh she's not playing great either, so I'm for sure going to get a couple visits. Just stay calm, you know. If I stay calm and I wait for my next opportunity, let's focus on this. Instead of focusing on w the things you could have done, focus on what is still going to be happening. I think I would try... Uh, when you're in the chair, I would try to come to the come to the table with an open mind and not be thinking about what I could, should, or what has happened. Uh, I think it's a healthier way to come to the table. Yeah, look look forward for your next opportunity. Right. Yeah. And just start all over again. Which is we make it sound easy. No, <laughs> it's memory, not always memories, easy. Memories, memories. You know, when you lose your memory on shots like that, it works good for you. It's after the game that, that you want to remember the shots and the mistakes you made. Well, here you go, Skyler. 
Not much of a starting point. And it's a mess. That's six eight. It's a bit of a mess. Yeah, I don't think the six goes, so that's that needs some work. Also, it's a pretty tight position on the five. Play the push. Just wondering, with so much traffic down table, I'm always gonna try and do something on this one. Because you, you have like seventy to eighty percent that Should the I one ball is gonna offensive? get behind No 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 do oh. play safe. Oh right. Like okay. there's because like if that. there's so much traffic, you have to play this. You cannot give this back. You have to try do something. Probably cut the one th down table, bring the nine into like in between or the two and the three in between. Oh she went aggressive. Wow. And, and she's found a window for position. Does she just get enough? I that's think so. If she, got so. if she got on the two ball, that's a really, really nice shot on the one. I was not going to cut the one because of the position was so difficult to get perfect on the two. Looks like she got it. But she's not done yet because of the six ball. Really don't think it goes. It's tight all the way around. It's tight for the side pocket. It's tight for both corner pockets. If it goes anywhere, it goes to the upper corner on the left side there as you look view your screen. Now that's perfect. She's just on the four in the right correct angle for the for this uh, position on the five ball. Ayala Soledad. Won the first set against Karen Kaur, 4-3. She was down 3 She was one. down 3, uh, yeah. yeah. She was way down. That's a big swing. Oh, doesn't want to get... That cue ball just crawled slowly towards the long rail and... I'm not 100% sure what she's going to play with the six, the six doesn't go in the side. She is forced to go forward on this because the cue ball is on the rail. No way to draw the cue ball out. Just wondering, can she play position for the bank on the six? Or at least go forward and then you will find out that you can play a safety. Or does it go to the side? From this angle. Is that Portugal? Soledad uh, Ayala? No, no, no. She is Argentina, right? Oh, okay. I th no. Something. She is from Argentina. Yeah. She must know a good friend that we have down there. Who do we have that's a good friend down there? Ariel Castro? Oh, okay. I was... Not that fast. <laughs> 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 Just cut a little bit thick. She looked very disappointed there. Actually, how it turned out with the five hanging over the pocket is not too bad. And a big shout out to another player from Latin America, from Peru, Gerson Martinez. He just had a great tournament. Just finished up one. Playing my good friend soon. Alex Montpellier from France. He had a match earlier today, didn't he? Yeah. Gerson did. So ball in hand on the six ball. What a chance for Skyler to get close this, this out. out. To yeah. close this. I mean it looks like it goes right through. And it's a stop shot and she's there. The only thing I can imagine her from the eight to the nine, you know, that maybe she gets on the wrong side and then and has to travel, to travel the cue ball. Yes, that's the yeah. only thing I can imagine from this point of view. But that is one of the things I dislike about playing that nine ball to a side pocket. But it's the right pocket to play it to. Yeah, it, it just is. But yeah, because then you don't want to be shooting it to the corners trouble. and come up too short like earlier.
Okay, she's got knights on the eight. I can. I think she can oh, draw straight perfect. up. Just stun the right up for the for the side. I think I play draw but like towards her chalk a little bit. Oh, that's this way. Okay. Yeah, and good. Did she just get just straight okay, in. or even let's say she's completely straight? I float this in, move the cue ball, maybe half a diamond, I and take the more cut on the ten. I'm not gonna force the cue ball and just just take how it is. I think she's too low on it. Yeah, that's why. Th then just take the medicine. And that's exactly yeah. what she's done. I really don't mind her doing this. And Skyler needs this shot to send this match to a first shootout in the opening round of the women's ten ball. And there it is. Off to a shootout we go. The shootout will be four innings. If they are tied, the cue ball gets backed up. One diamond. They will alternate pockets. Now the player that has won the leg has, gets the, has the, the option to either start or give it to the other player. Yeah, and the strategies are usually most of the players they say no let me start because they want to have the first opportunity to put some pressure on the opponent right. on the other side if you don't feel too comfortable and you miss the first one look at how much confidence well, you give your opponent so you know tim in the two years that we've been doing this 10 ball format with a shootout i've only seen the player that won the lag pass being first twice yeah, yeah that doesn't really happen often but i could understand if people did this like it Shoot out. She's going first. She will shoot it to the right hand pocket and then alternate on the next one. Straight Success. in the pocket. Oh, where's the cue ball? Ooh. It was a uh, uh, close that call. That, that gave my heart a little <laughs> flutter there, buddy. <laughs> I mean, especially with the speed. You know, uh, from you yeah, the speed would just drop you in. Don't, yeah, you sure. don't expect it from that angle to go to the side. With that speed, it's actually possible. Okay, so first shot for Skyler Hess. And the Ice Princess needs some ice in her veins for this shot. Yeah, stay down, stay smooth. I like the way she's cueing the ball. Nice execution, same but shot, the same thing. Same shot, oh, same result. Duplicated it. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, this might just give me a heart attack. They are <laughs> trying to. And that's what the shoot is designed to do. So second shot. Olivia shot Zalewska. Two. And on the long rail. And right in the middle of the pocket, right in the heart of the pocket. I like how she plays it with a little bit more pace than Skyler does. Because it, the really soft pace is very sensitive. And she puts a little bit more stroke in it. And usually it straightens up a little better that way. And then your cue ball comes off uh, off to the side more. It doesn't go towards the side pocket. It yeah. catches the rail before the side pocket. Pretty much assuring you of a uh, you know, clear shot. Now I didn't, I didn't, actually I did notice how she played her first shot. From this side she's playing a different. She's playing close to the rail. On the other shot yeah. she played it away from the rail. They both They both this, did. Yeah. And a pretty big miss there. Yeah, this is a big opportunity for Olivia. Would put a lot of pressure on Skyler if yeah. she makes this. Well, what it would mean to, to Skyler is that she has to make the next three that she shoots, or the next two that she shoots. And then Olivia has yeah. to miss and the and last and one. And she yeah. has to miss the last one. Also, if you looked at... Um, Oh, now she is shooting for... No. 
it's a little different position, yeah. Yeah, she was not. They were both close. If to you the looked middle. at Skyler's execution, she put the whole queue in it for just a short, like a short stroke. So. And straight that's it. in the pocket. Oh. Yeah, straight on the point. She is playing with the side pocket, though. So I would, uh, if there's any advice I could give to Olivia, I would say, hey, move the cue ball a little bit left L or right. Little like bit, a little bit more towards the center so that you don't have that angle. Stop yes, putting I it in the totally same spot. Agree. Eventually, totally somewhere agree. it's going to happen that you scratch. I think, I think the reason she does that is she wants to, she wants to shoot off the rail. She wants her bridge on the rail. Maybe it steadies her. Maybe, yeah. Now so see, she's shot. further off. She she's needs further to off. make this. And she executed this very well her very first time. Although she also, and she's, that's it. Yeah, she came up a little bit, so. Yeah, the match is over there. She cannot win. And the first opening round goes to Olivia Zalewska from Poland. A 677 Fargo over the Skyler Hess, a 543. Uh, what turned out to be a very tight match. But we'll be back with a lot more this whole week in Puerto Rico. Yeah, stay tuned for our next match for today. I think, I believe it's gonna be 5.30. It's our next round, it's a men's match. So make sure you tune in. This was Tim De Reuter and my good friend, George Teachea. Good night, folks. We'll see you.